Yo, 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 guys, what up? Back with another video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to kill an urge in just four simple steps. So, back in the day, guys, when I was really struggling with urges and I didn't know how to combat them besides using desire and reminding myself why I wanted to basically free myself from PMO, um, I would really struggle with this and there are some habits that work. There are things like getting up, leaving your physical environment. Some people say to do push-ups. Um, and it was about halfway through my journey that I really discovered by accident uh, this technique. And it was actually from a dating program I bought like two or three years ago. And basically what the, basically what the technique is, is you just get present. So when we get an urge, it's when we're fantasizing. It's when we start thinking of all these images, we start feeling that in our body, but mainly we're in our head, right? So from the dating program, I learned this technique, uh, which is four steps and I'll show you in a sec, but it's, it's a technique you use to get present and to get back in your body and to get out of your head, to quiet the thoughts in your mind, and so you can go up and talk to a girl and feel as relaxed as possible because the premise is that if you're relaxed, you can quote unquote, seduce her, court her, attract her in the best way possible. So I learned actually that you can use this technique to basically quiet your mind and to kind of dim or fog that image in your head. And so oftentimes when you have an urge, it's a sort of like sexual fantasy, it's of an image. And I noticed that when I would do this, um, I really don't know how I stumbled upon doing this for urges, but one day I just tried it because I knew that I was supposed to use it for anxiety or negative types of feelings. And so I thought, man, well, this must probably work for all types of feelings, right? So, so when I get an urge, guys, this is what I do. And I'll run you through it, tell you what it is, and then I'll actually do it with you. So the first step is you take three long, deep breaths. And what I learned is what they mean by deep breaths are long exhales. And what that does is that changes your internal, internal chemistry, right? It, if you change your breathing, you can change your emotions. I remember a quote that I can't remember right now, but I know there's a quote that goes something along the lines of change your breathing, change your thoughts and change your emotions. So the first one is three long deep breaths. And the key to the exhales guys is that you want to get them to at least like six seconds between six to 10 seconds is how long you want to exhale for. Uh, so you do the three breaths and it might be a little uncomfortable, but if it is, you know, you're doing it right. The second thing is, is you want to scan your vicinity. What you want to do is use a trigger word or a phrase saying something like I'm back or I'm here. So I would look around my apartment right now and I would try to notice something that maybe I hadn't noticed before because Oftentimes when we're going about our daily life and we're not in a mindful state, what we do is we kind of just see things in a blur. And so if you're focused on the little details, that's going to quiet your mind because you're having to focus. You can't, your mind can't focus on two things at once, 100%. So that's the second step, guys. That's getting back. So the third step is to scan your body. So I start at my head, go all the way down to my toes, maybe even wiggle my toes. Um, and then the final step is just scanning your vicinity again and using that trigger word, that phrase saying, I'm back, I'm here. So I look around my apartment and I see if I can find anything different. So there you have it guys, let's run through it one time and then I hope that helps you feel better. So the first thing we do is three deep breaths. So. Okay, 
feeling a little quieter. Second one, I'm back. So I scan my vicinity, look at the color of the paint on the walls, look at the shadows, look at the little details of my blinds, this picture, more blinds, more shadows, more hues. Third thing, okay. So I'm feeling my head, feeling my face, and the key is on this one, guys, and on all of them, don't judge anything. Just non-judgmentally. So I'm feeling my neck, I'm feeling my traps, I'm feeling my shoulders, my upper arms, my lower arms, my hands on my knees, my chest, my back, my mid-back, my lower back, normal sensations, my hips, my butt, my quads, uh, my knees, lower legs, my ankles, and my feet feel a little cold because I was just outside. So number four, I'm back. So look around the room, notice all the little details. <sighs> all right, guys, I almost feel like I want to slouch. Um, and if you just, if you can notice a subtle difference in feeling, that's when you know you've done it right, guys. And I just want to give you one last final note about the breathing is that you almost, as much as you can, you want to force yourself to purely focus on your breath. And so you want all your attention to be on your breath. So not only are you putting your mind on one thing, but then you're actually changing your physiology. So that is like a two times effect. That's really strong. And I'll leave you with this guys. If you can focus your mind on your breath and force yourself, and you'll get better at this over time, you can force yourself to, if you can force yourself to focus your awareness there, then think about what you can do with your urges. Your urges are just thoughts, guys, that turn into feelings. So if you can control your mind in one way, you can control your mind in another way. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope this helps you kill your urges. Um, I know that this is a dynamic thing. It's always changing. You really gotta be on guard when you're first starting to know fat journey. Um, I wish you guys luck. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know what you, what other strategies you guys use to beat urges. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed it. If you liked it, like it. And if you wanna see more content like this, I got a ton more content coming, so subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys again. I hope I see you in the next video. And as always, keep learning. <laughs>